on his own, he cannot be able to do this. He needs someone who is strong to pull him out. And he is going to thank the person later. I'm telling you. It happens to me. Both of us were in love. And we were about to get married when we went to test our genotypes. And it happened that both of us were AS or both of us are AS and AS. And do you know what happened? We had to fast and pray for the genotype to change. But let me tell you, you cannot play God like you cannot make God do that kind of thing. I know it has happened like God has performed miracle and that thing happened, but it is wrong to do that. It is very wrong to pray for your genotype to change. Okay? Except if God has a purpose for the marriage, God can decide okay let me just change this for the purpose of this but if it's for selfish purpose like you just you're in love you just want this genotype to change change because you're in love now you fast you pray for genotype to change oh my goodness let me not just take your time so um we fasted and prayed let our genotype change but it did not change i tested my genotype for almost 10 times it's only one that was aa the others as so it means that that one that is AA is the mystic, right? And when I got the one that is AA, I, I ran to him. I said, hey, my own, I changed it. He said, okay, okay, okay. But the parents mm, said, you must taste again. You must. Prior to our marriage, we had to go and check again. So it's AA, AA. So what happened is that he tore himself away. He got married. One year later, I got married. Had even that he didn't get married, maybe... I shouldn't have gotten married or CB. You know, that kind of thing. So love is not easy. It's not easy. So um, all that they need right now is for their parents or someone who is very strong to pull them out. Okay. In this video, I want to share with you uh, the advice that Kanaya or Kanayo gave to Untouchable and how Untouchable reacted to the advice. Untouchable is AS, his fiance is AS. But both of them are strongly in love with each other. And I think Untouchable has made up his mind to go ahead and marry the girl because some people are assuring him, even medical professionals are assuring him that that's a solution to this, like that's medical solution to this. Even though there's no medical solution to eradicating or, or healing or, or curing genotype issue they understand they said that they have solutions to this like that's medical thing that they can do but that medical thing that they can do can be very expensive and it can be this this kind of rigor that you go through just to have a child each time but what these people that are telling him that that's medical solution is not telling him is that uh, there are going to be times when there's going to be uncontrolled whatever, like uncontrolled intimacy or uncontrolled sex. Do you understand? So at this time, what if it happens and a child comes? There's like 2% child chance that a child can stay calm even when you are uh, using a very sure contraception to prevent pregnancy it can happen these things are crazy it can happen so when that time comes what are you gonna do are you gonna do anything like some people say flush it out no 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 no. me i don't believe in flushing a fellow human being out a life that's like taking life you understand so there's no solution that's why i said there's no solution to this so but the main focus here is the advice that can I or can I your gift to untouchable? Do you understand? But that advice is a very good advice. That advice is a very good ad advice, no doubt. But it didn't go well with the untouchable because he has made up his mind whether good, bad, he has made up his mind to settle with this lady that he loves so much. But one thing about love, one thing about love is that love doesn't last forever. Believe it or not. Believe it or not, love, the intensity, the, what you're feeling now is strong, right? But check that love, check that love that you have five, 
10 years later and tell me if it is still the same. I won't see a road that leads to a bush and allow you to enter that bush. When it comes to this law group, or it's genotype, AS, AS. Ron, even a doctor will tell you. If it's AS, marry AA, a doctor will even tell you. We are not doctors, but we say, why bring children into the world that will come there to be suffering? Is that what you want? I love her, son. I love her so much. Uh, love, you have to know. Love is um, sentimental to the extent of what you're talking about. But in the reality of it, what is love when it's, it's going to be accompanied by suffering? Those of you who are insisting that Untouchable should go ahead and marry his fiance, even when they have already known that their genotypes are not compatible, what is your own? Have you ever considered a child that is coming into the world? How he is going to suffer? The pain, the suffering, the constant going to the hospital, even at late hours, the emotional trauma, the financial burden, and the family wahala that this thing is going to cause. There's no medical solution to incompatible genotype. Yeah, when I talk about incompatible genotype, I mean AS and AS Marin or SS and SS Marin or AS and SS Marin. Now, when Untouchable marries this lady, there's 25% chance that they are going to have SS child. That 25% is huge, is not small. Even 1% is not small. Even a single chance of having a child who will come into this life and suffer is not small. That relationship is going to end up bitter because of this SS issue. My dear people, don't say I'm wasting your time. This is very important to me. And let me tell you, I'm going to still make a video. Yeah, I wrote an article on this. So I'm still going to make a video to explain in detail about this because a lot of people are so blinded by the love that they have that they have refused to see the implications of doing this. Our forefathers made the mistake because they lived in ignorance. But what about us? We are living in an age where there's lots of technologies to find out this. And once we find it out, why are we still going to make the same mistake that our forefathers made? And I thank God today. When I kneel down to pray today, I say, Jehovah, thank you so much that you saved me from that suffering, that you saved my child from that kind of suffering. But because I do listen to what is happening online, how, how these sickle cell children come out online to cry about what they are passing through. You may say, eh, uh, we'll go to do IVF, we'll go to the adoption, for, to adoption. What about having that uh, intimacy? We'll get rid of it. What about casual intimacy, which might lead to having a child? Can you get rid of it? Are they always going to be that careful? Okay, so you have an option to say no to this, but you want to take it because you're selfish. I think it is selfishness, you know, going ahead to marry someone when you know that the genotype is incompatible. Think about the innocent children that you are going to bring into this world to suffer. And think about how God is going to deal with you for making the life of a child miserable. You cannot blame God when the misery begins to happen so my dear people i don't know what you think about this but whatever you think please leave your comments in the comment section thank you so much for coming this far with me in case you have not subscribed to my channel can you do so now click on bell icon so that you can easily assess my upcoming posts like and share this video thank you so much i'll see you in my next video god bless you bye bye bye